thou mistakest, this is thy negligence. Or else, or else committest thy knaveries willfully. Believe me, King of Shadows, I mistook. Did not you tell me I should know the man by the Athenian garments he hath on? And so far blameless proves my enterprise that I have anointed an Athenian's eyes. And so far I'm glad it did so sort, for this their jangling I esteem a sport. Thou seest these lovers seek a place to fight. I, therefore, Robin, overcast the night. Starry welkin covered thou anon with drooping fog as black as Acheron. And lead these testy rivals so astray that one not come within another's way. Like to Lysander, sometime frame thy tongue, <coughs> stir Demetrius up with bitter wrong, and sometime rail thou like Demetrius, and from each other look thou lead them thus, till o'er their brows death's counterfeiting sleep, with laden legs and fatty wings doth creep. Crush some of this into Lysander's eye. The liquor of it hath such virtuous property that it'll take from thence all error from his might, and make his eyeballs roll with wanted sight. And when they'd awake, all this derision shall seem a dream and fruitless vision. And then back again to Athens shall the lovers wend with league whose date with death. Shall never end. And while I in this affair do thee employ, I'll to my queen, and I'll seek a changeling boy. And then I will her charmed I release from monsters' view, and all things shall be peace. My fairy lord, this must be done with haste, for nights with dragons cut the clouds full fast, and yonder shines Aurora's harbinger, at whose approach goes wandering here and there troop home to churchyards. Damned spirits all that in crossways and floods of burial already to their wormy beds have gone. For fear lest they should look their shames upon, they willfully themselves as idle to the light, and must for aye consort with black-browed night. But we are spirits of another sort. I with the morning love have oft made sport, like the forester, the groves may tread to the eastern gate, all fiery red, opening on Neptune his fair blessed beams, turning yellow gold salt green streams. But notwithstanding haste, make no delay, that we may effect this business yet your day. <laughs> up and down, up and down, I will lead them up and down. I am feared in field and town. Goblin, lead them up and down. Here comes one. Where art thou proud, Demetrius? Speak thou now. <coughs> Here, villain, drawn and ready. Huh? I will be with thee straight. Follow me then, play the crown. Lysander, speak again. I will run away, thou coward. Art thou fled? Speak, in some bush. Where dost thou hide thy head? Thou coward, art thou bragging to the stars, telling the bushes that thou lookest for wars but wilt not come? Come, recreant, come, thou child, I'll whip thee with a rod. He is the file that draws a sword on thee. Yea, art thou fair? Come hither, we'll try no manhood here. Ah. He goes before me and still bears me on. When I come where he calls, then he is gone. The villain is much lighter here than I. I followed fast, but faster did he fly. That fall under my in dark, uneven way. And he will arrest me. Come, thou gentle day. For if but once thou show me thy grey light, I'll find Demetrius and revenge this spite. Ho, 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 coward! Why comest thou not? Abide oh, here, thou darest! Well, I want. Thou runs before me, shifting every place, and dares not stand nor look me in the face. Where art thou now? Come hither, I am here. Nay, then thou mockest me. Thou shalt buy this dear. If ever I thy face by daylight see, now go thy way. Fainness constraineth me to measure out my length on this cold bed. By day's approach. Look to be visited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, weary night. Oh, long and tedious night. Abate thy hours. Shine comforts from the east, that I may back to Athens by daylight from these that my poor company detest. And sleep, that sometimes knits up sorrows I steal me away from my own company. 
yet but three. Come one more. Two of both kinds makes up four. Here she comes, cursed and sad. Cupid is a knavish lad, thus to make poor females mad. Never so weary, never so in woe, bedabbled by dew and torn with briars. I can no further crawl, no further go. My legs can keep no pace with my desires. Here I will rest me until the break of day. Heavens, shield Lysander if they mean afraid. On the ground, sleeping sound. I'll apply to your eye, gentle lover's remedy. When thou wakest, thou takest true delight in the sight of thy former lady's eye. As the country proverb known, that every man should have his own, in your waking shall be known. Jack shall have Jill, not shall be ill. The man shall have his mare again, and all shall be well. <laughs>